Hey guys, Jill here. So I'm often asked, why do I coupon? Okay, so I thought I would just hop on and give you guys um, an explanation as to, as to why I do. So to begin with, just like anyone else, I have a budget. Um, I have an entertainment budget, I have um, a budget for my household expenses, and I have a food budget. And at one point I realized that I was really spending a lot of money on food because I was eating out a lot. And I didn't have enough money to go and do fun things or to, um, you know, pay for certain things that, that I wanted to purchase. So that's when I decided I was going to go back to doing couponing. I had done it many years ago. It worked out really well. And um, I mean, to the point where I still have some stuff um, from, you know, a couple of years ago, like body wash and, you know, stuff that doesn't expire. But anyways, so one of the things that I really wanted to focus on was um, reducing my, my costs in certain areas without sacrificing eating healthy. Um, because that's often a complaint that I hear is, well, you know, there's a lot of coupons out there and they're for junk food. And I'm not gonna dispute that. There are a lot of coupons when it comes for food um, that are for junk food. You know, potato chips, junk cereals, um, cookies, you know, frozen pizzas, stuff like that. I primarily focus on personal hygiene um, items, you know, uh, razors, shaving cream, um, body wash, shampoo, um, body lotion, toilet paper, paper towels, uh, napkins, cleaning supplies, things of that nature. If by reducing the cost in those areas, it allows me to stay within a budget and buy higher quality food. So for example, um, I don't buy a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. Because of it being just me, they end up going bad. So I buy frozen. Well, in order to do that, um, I have to save money in another area. And that's where I save the money, um, like I said, in, in uh, you know, laundry detergent and, and things like that. Um, so here's an example. During the winter time and in the summertime, I have dry skin. Um, from the summertime, it's from being out in the sun and playing. And in the wintertime, it's just from being around the fireplace and the hot cold and the, the, the cold air and so on and so forth. I am a product snob on certain things. Certain things I'm not a product snob, but certain things I am. So for example, today I went and I got the Nivea uh, lotion. Um, it's one of my favorites. And that bottle of Nivea lotion will cost anywhere between four and $8 in the store, depending on what store you go to. So, I went to my local um, Dollar General. It was on sale for $3.65 a bottle. And I had a coupon where you buy two bottles and you save $4. That meant that I paid $1.65 a bottle. With that kind of a savings, I went ahead and bought six bottles. And I just store them in my closet um, upstairs. So that, extra couple dollars I can now take and put towards something that um, I would that I would want to eat or that I would need um, another example is the um, I'm a snob when it comes to toothpaste it's either Colgate or Crest um, Colgate optic white or the Crest ultra white those are seven dollars a tube depending on what store you go to. The cheapest that I've seen is $7 a tube. I only pay 50 cents for a tube of toothpaste. Okay. Um, and so that's money that I can take and put it towards, you know, fr uh, 
better, you know, food, almond milk, eggs, um, my protein powder, um, you know, different things like that. Do I buy junk food? Yes, I am human. I have a basket sitting on my island with my quarantine junk food. Um, so yes, I do buy some, some junk food, but I primarily stay with, with the healthy foods. Um, for example, my local Kroger, uh, two weeks ago, they had a coupon, a digital coupon, um, where you could buy, um, green giant, I think it was riced cauliflower for 99 cents a bag. It was different flavors, um, different blends. I love riced cauliflower. I prefer that over rice. So I went and bought 15 bags. Why? Because it was at a really good price and with the coupon, it made it an even better price. So the point is, is, is when you get, when you see a really good sale and you have a good coupon, that's the time that you want to kind of stock up. The other thing too is items go on sale in a cycle, okay? So you're never going to see um, an item on sale today, you know, this, this week be on sale again for a couple of weeks. So you always want to stock up for enough to last you a couple of weeks or maybe even an entire quarter. Okay, um, because of just the way the sale ads run. Like right now with everybody um, kind of in the, the quarantine mode, um, sale, the sales are not real, real good right now. Okay, so if you didn't have a stockpile, then you're paying and you didn't have the real good coupons, you're kind of paying full price which is another reason why I coupon and I, and I get some extras when I do that, because there's nothing worse than being preparing a meal and you don't have a particular item. Then you have to go to the store and you have to pay full price for it. For me, that comes out of my budget and I don't want it to, I don't want it to come out of my budget because there may be something else that I will need further on down the road. Um, another reason why that I do it is it's allowed me to reduce my full, my food budget um, from, you know, 50 to 75% savings. So that extra money, I've been able to go and do fun things like go out of town and see concerts and meet the rock bands or, um, you know, pay an unexpected bill that I, I didn't expect to come in or, you know, just go and do fun things. Um, so it's allowed me to, to really reel in my budget and, and put some, uh, savings aside that to go do fun things, not my normal savings account. The other thing that it's done is it's allowed me to afford to help in the community. So for example, I had 40 Keebler cookie coupons and I found in my local store where they had the four pack of cookies. So I bought 40 of them. They were 75 cents a pack. The coupon was for 75 cents. So all I did was pay for tax, which was next to nothing. And I took those cookies and I gave them to the school that is here in my local area because with the schools closed right now, there are kids who are not being fed breakfast and lunch. They rely on the school to feed them breakfast and lunch. So by donating to the school, it allows them to put lunch bags together and breakfast bags together, and they drop them off at the bus stops for the kids to come and get. Um, it, so far, I've been able to donate um, Ten, uh, I've, I've got 10 bags of cereal that I just picked up today. Um, I've got cookies. I've donated bags of pretzels that I, I paid like 50 cents a bag for. And these are the, the good size bags. So it allows me to, to help in the community as well. And not just with food, but also 
to help the local SPCA with very little money out of pocket. Okay, so that's the reason why I do it to the extreme that I do. Um, before the quarantine came out, I was already more than stocked with paper towels and toilet paper. Why? Because I had a really good coupon, they had a really good deal, and a really good sale on top of it. So I was able to, to match it all up and stock up on those items. So that's why I coupon. Um, the bottom line is, is it's allowed me to save in my budget. It's allowed me to actually make some money. Um, for example, with makeup. Um, I know I've been asked why, you know, why do you buy makeup when, when you already deal with makeup? And in some cases, um, I have, by, by buying a particular makeup item that I'm going to put away for my favorite girlfriend, um, I've made two or three dollars. The, the store paid me two or three dollars. Um, and that's the other thing. Um, you know, I have a lot of shampoo, a lot of conditioner, a lot of body wash, a lot of facial masks that I will not use, um, bath bombs, things of that nature. And I have them put the put away so that way when my favorite girlfriend is, you know, having a bad day, having a bad moment in her life, um, boyfriend left, husband left, kids are on her nerves, whatever it is, okay, then I can put together a little spa packet for her. And even though it didn't really cost me anything, she doesn't know that. And it just really means that I cared. Um, and, you know, we can't always do that because of the cost um, of putting a, a basket like that together. But I'm able to do that. Or if I have a friend whose, you know, husband may have been laid off and they're kind of struggling a little bit, I can go into my, my personal grocery store and pull some items out and, you know, take it over there to help them. Um, my son, Sean, he comes over from time to time and hits up my, my personal grocery store and it helps him with his budget as well. So that's the reason why I coupon. Um, I coupon for me to save money. I coupon to help my friends and, and family save money. Um, and I coupon to help give back to the community. Um, especially in the area that I live in where there are a lot of people who do not have, um, you know, and, and there are things that I've, I've purchased in large quantities, um, such as like Depends, um, that I bought for like $2 a box. And then I just took them over to the local nursing home because obviously I don't need them, but I took them to the local nursing home and obviously they, you know, they need that stuff. Um, so, so that's why I coupon. Um, it allows me to enjoy, uh, my crafts. I, I can afford to, to buy what I need, buy what I want. Um, I still eat out. Um, what I did was I eat out once a week instead of every night um and one of my goals was to say okay i'm not allowed to spend any more than 25 dollars a week on starbucks because i'm a starbucks addict um by couponing to this extreme it's allowed me to do that as well so i hope that answers the question as to why i coupon um to, to the extreme that I do. Um, and yes, I will admit, I think right now I have 30 packs of razors. So I'm, I'm like really set on razors. Um, but a lot of that stuff will also go to the men's shelter um, as well as the women's shelter. So that's the reason why I do it. Um, if it's something that you're interested, but you're not sure how to get started, you know, give me a shout out. I can help you get started um, with these videos. Um, 
right now I'm doing videos to help people um, get get going. But uh, in the future, once all of this uh, dies down, um, I'm hoping to start classes over at the women's shelter to help them um, be able to expand the money on their SNAP cards and to be able to um, purchase the products that they need um, with as little money out of pocket as possible. So if you are looking to do the same, whether it's reduce your budget or to help your community, but you're not sure how to start, give me a shout out and I can help you. It's not all paper. You can do digital um, or you can do both. Okay. The key is knowing when to bump it up to a sale. Um, and the other thing too, that's really important to understand. I don't spend a lot of time doing this. There's an app that I follow and they tell me where all of the good deals are and what coupons to use and when to go. And, and that's what I do, okay? Um, so I don't spend a lot of time doing this. So I hope this video helped explain why I do it. Um, and again, if you're looking to do at a minimum, help your community at a maximum, reduce your own budget, let me know and I can help you get started. And I, in fact, I look forward to help you get started. So thank you for watching. I hope that this helped and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.